What is up, Renaissance crew? I'm the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Oh, not Da Vinci Reacts. No. This is actually a podcast. <laughs> da Vinci <laughs> speaks. Da Vinci talks to people. Um, well, let's go back to the old school. DT Productions presents a podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we just moved over the podcast. You want to introduce yourself? I'm King Rutherford. There you go. If they don't, if they don't know me, they should. You better recognize. They should just know somebody like me. Um, <laughs> we're actually on um camera now. I just realized that I was looking at the microphone the whole time. Yeah, definitely, we are on camera. Also, um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna start doing the pod, our podcast here. And you're getting the real podcast. Like you're getting the real. We're in the house. Um, there's meatloaf right there, and open <laughs> soda. Um, I had lunch earlier. You're getting, you're getting the raw, the real. No sponsorships? Uh, no sponsorships at all. Because I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be big, you know? No, I was asking, because last time we did something similar to this, you were like trying yeah, to we promote did. some type of drink. 110%. <laughs> I definitely was last time. The same company, that, too. Mm, the mm. same company. That's, that's the funny if part. If anybody wants to promote or sponsor this channel go ahead that's fine well today i'm sponsored by drink cup not juice drink <laughs> drinking cup okay so delicious fruit drink so did you play the mega millions no why i'm broke <laughs> <laughs> there you go next subject <laughs> next topic uh, let me buy you a ticket bro Nah, i don't really care it's a dollar yeah i don't really care um I'm trying to save my money, and I'm not about to say spend it on. Is the Mega Millions an dreams. investment? Is that an investment? No. Is it a good investment? No. <laughs> no, it's not. No. So it's just a waste of a dollar. Um, I mean, they always say that in order to win, you have to compete. But the chance that by the time you've won, you've probably spent more money well not by the time you won but by the time you realize that you're not going to win you spent so much money that if you would have saved it up it would have felt like a damn lottery winning i agree i agree that's why i'm not playing <laughs> that's why i see a lot of other people playing yeah i want to and they get excited about it it's just not it's just not my cup of tea you know yeah, i want to make my money the right way through stocks and iras and shit like that wow <laughs> Stocks. Stocks and IRAs. Wow. Hey, if I get some money, I'm going to get invested. Okay. Properly. All right. So, you're not playing the lottery. Nope. Well, I um, I got promoted. I'm a job. Yeah. First of all, before we get started, just to so you guys know, we have a, we're have we going to be talking about all types of different topics. We, have, we don't have like a set uh, schedule or outline we're following. We don't. We're letting <laughs> the topics fall on us. We don't. And... Uh, just another heads up, we probably plan on recording for about an hour, but because you guys know my camera only records for 30 minutes at a time, we might have to stop it early at 25, at the 25 mark and like start it again, so there's might, there might be like a little bit of an edit in between those, we'll let you know when we're going to stop and start In again. which the time, I'll probably go take a shit. Okay. Anything else you want to try to throw in there? I mean, it's a good time to take a shit during the break. As a matter of fact, what I'll say, alright, I'll be back. That, that'll be me. Going to break, and then you doing the video thing. Thanks you know. for that visual. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'll definitely be taking the shit. Sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sponsored by. Mm. Mm, well, yeah. Definitely. You want to talk about some controversial shit? Something that'll cause a stir? Um, You know, we have plenty of time to get to that. There was a fight last night. Did you watch the game? No. Uh, well, uh, you talking Chris about Paul and the... Rajon Rondo? Oh yeah, I, I I didn't see the fight. I was watching the game on and off because I've already told you guys my TV or Spectrum is specifically likes to act funny, and the sound on my TV or the sound on my cable box isn't working, so yeah. I can see everything. I I saw everything. I just you didn't saw hear. Saw everything. You just <laughs> I just didn't hear it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so I was just like zoning in and out, and I missed the fight. What happened yeah. in this fight? Um, I don't know. I saw the highlights. I didn't. I, I was asking you. I didn't. I didn't see it. I just saw. I guess they said Rajon Mount is spit on Chris Paul. Well, I saw 
parts of the fight. I didn't see what initiated it, but I did see some punches thrown. And Rajon Rondo threw a punch. One, Chris Paul connected on two different punches. And Brandon Ingram tried to get his fucking Stephen Jackson in and just run in and throw a punch real quick. Just throwing a random punch. He was already heated. He was already mad. In other words, all three of them getting suspended for at least a game. Yeah, probably. Yeah, most likely. Chris Paul, Rajon Rondo. But there's so many games in the NBA. You know, they can afford it. LeBron held his buddy, Chris Paul. Of course, he was probably on his side, which is awkward because, like, you know, I mean, they're all getting suspended. It doesn't matter. Rajon's your teammate, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong. Rajon Rondo played for Boston and the Lakers. So did Shaq. <laughs> is that? <laughs> but he didn't really play for Boston. He. He played he, for yeah, Boston. He participated. But he didn't, he, yeah. But he didn't really, if he would have won a championship with Boston, it probably would have been crazy. <laughs> like, so many confused feelings. Yeah. It would have been crazy if he won um, a championship with Boston. But yeah. um, Speaking of games, are you going to be getting Red Dead Redemption 2? No. No. I'm going to watch you play it. You're not going to buy it yourself, though? Listen, so the type of video gamer that I am these days, I... Unless you say you're a mobile gamer exclusively, that does not explain why you won't get this game. No, I'm about to explain what I am. Because I don't even really know what the fuck that is yet. I'll actually get back to you on that. The reason why I'm not is because I don't have time in my life right now for a game. Still. Only two answers can possibly... Mm be a accepted explanation and that is either you're a mobile gamer or you don't game no more you know I and wish both I was, of those are wrong answers i wish i was a mobile gamer no mobile gaming actually seems fun no it's not you were in that at one point point and you got out because you realized how stupid it was oh yeah because of all the money i was not yeah spending i was supposed to I'm just, I'm just embarrassed. Yeah, mobile gaming sucks. I'm just embarrassed. To, I'm just embarrassed to talk about how much money I was spending. You know, like it's definitely everybody does it. Yeah, I definitely did spend a lot of money on my mobile experience, but pretty soon, right? I'm going to get back into things that do not involve work. Ugh. I don't know when. I don't know when. Yeah, you're so focused on your career, you're not enjoying the journey. To wherever you're going and then when you look back at your little plaques on the wall and your golden watch and everything else you get after you retire you're gonna be looking at all that stuff alone i will play red dead with redemption no video games three. <laughs> i'll play red dead redemption 3 by that point oh but the one thing i do want to say is i think it's good for everybody to have a life goal like what is your life what is your five-year goal mr um, da vinci what is your five-year goal Come on. Hitting 100,000 on YouTube. In five years? Come on, bro. No, I have. Bro. That's I'm, not, that's not, no, 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 no. I, that's that's easy. That's too easy. I have very modest goals. No, fuck remember, that. Remember, my goal. is a modest goal. Remember, my goal was to hit 1,000 at the end of the year. Bro, that you're going to hit. That's my initial goal. You're going to hit 20,000 easy by the end of the year. Bro, so in five years, I'll five be fucking years, five years. Set I'll a be goal, bro. It's a goal. It's not what you're going to do. <laughs> that, a goal is always something that you aim to do. No, you know that you are going to do that. I have. Here's my belief. You're gonna I think hit- that you should have goals that are easily achievable because they motivate you to work harder. If you pick a bunch of goals that you just won't get, yeah, it's harder to like motivate yourself to do something like further. But if it's like, okay, well, my goal is to get 5,000, no. 50,000 YouTubers or 50,000 subscribers and you hit it, it's like, okay, yes, I did that. Now I can go to something else. I'm like, it makes you want to like, it's like, you know how like millionaires and successful people are always busy doing stuff. Okay, exactly. But then you look at people that aren't successful and they just like tend to sit around and not do anything. Right. I think it's because they've succeeded in stuff that they've wanted to like go for. Like, okay, I wanted to do this and I succeeded. I want so now like the feeling of success is something they're familiar with. Like, okay, well, I've succeeded, so I'm gonna do something people. else, and I want to do this and I want to do that because I know I can do it because I've done stuff in the past. Or I put my mind up to stuff in the past and I've done it. Right now, like they are the reason why people I feel like don't do anything is because they don't have that 
familiarity with success. Like, oh, well, I want to do something, but I don't know if I'll be successful with it. So I'm just going to, you know, chill and not really. Right. But like if you do something and succeed at it, then it makes you want to do more stuff. Right. But to my to what I was saying about your five year. OK, I'm going to tell you what mine is. My five year goal is six figures liquid in my checking account. Or a couple checking accounts that add up to at least 100K. Well, what are your plans to do that right now? Saving. Yeah, but... I've been saving my money. Like, like for instance, crazy. Calcu- calculate how much money you make a year. I already did. And add that up to five. $20,000 okay. a year. And you're not including how much you I spend each year. I've already done it. I've already, I've already done it. My, it. All I'm saying is the math doesn't add up. If you make around, if you make over, let's say thirty thousand a year, you're not including how much you spend on like rent. And so food and I don't want to else. say how much I make a year, but I make more than forty thousand a year. Okay, but after you've taken out rent, food, and everything else, and you just take that net income times five is a like hundred thousand dollars. I can save. I I definitely can do that. Is it a hundred thousand dollars? Yes. It is. Yes. So a five year plan from right now is twenty 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 four, actually. I was gonna say twenty twenty three. See I, I keep confusing myself also. By twenty twenty four, I will have my goal. Are you including any type of uncalculated expenses, like if you do get a game or outfit or Anything like that. So there's a certain amount of money that I have to spend every year. So, okay. So let me, the people watching this probably are confused, right? We live. We've warned them already. A, this is going to be just all over the place. No, 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 they no, have no, no excuses. No, 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 no. Where we live, it's an affordable city and state. Why are you hiding where we live like people don't know already? Oh, we live in Ohio. We live in we live in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. It's affordable as fuck here. Affordable as fuck. Like like you should move here. You can get a one bedroom if, apartment if you don't mind weird ass weather. Okay, weird weather. Yeah, but it's due to global warming. Talk about that later. One bedroom apartment, easy. You can get one for four hundred dollars. A one-bedroom apartment that's yours for four hundred dollars. You could easily get a job that pays twelve dollars an hour, easily, which can maintain your four hundred dollars a month apartment, like easy. Making twelve dollars an hour, what's that? Like four hundred dollars a week? I don't know. Depends yeah, something like that. You work and but I'm just saying, you you make four times your rent. You easy, like it's easy to live here. It's easy to maintain something. Me, I not only have my job, but I also do other things for money. My wife does other things for money. So, we're getting money in different places. So You want to explain that before they start assuming shit? You know what? I'd rather them assume. And then when I hit my goal, I'll tell you guys what it is. But my I wife, love Me, I do things on the side for money. My wife does <laughs> things on the side for money. You know what? Use your fucking imagination. <laughs> Use your imagination and tell me what you think it is. But at the same time, though, I have a goal. Not only is it a goal, though, but it's a goal I'm going to hit. Like, you just do not know. My one-year goal is to make it to some type of YouTube con, VidCon, or some type of Comic-Con, or some something like that. I want a booth at a con. Your one-year goal is better than your five-year goal. <laughs> hey, it's, it's easier to get to a VidCon or something than it is to hit 100,000 subscribers. Listen, Mr. Da Vinci, you're going to hit 100,000 fucking subscribers next October. Uh, <laughs> you're putting too much pressure on me now. I don't know. Okay, but I said five-year goal. That's too much pressure. Five fucking years? Five year goal. I need more from you. Five years. I need is a reachable. better goal. Five years is reachable. No, I, no, no, no. I'm saying you're gonna blow it out the fucking park. I want you. To, I want a better goal from you than five years. A hundred thousand. After I hit a hundred thousand, I'll change my goal around. 
Okay, so you're not thinking that far then. Because at one point, like I said, my goal was to hit a thousand at the end of this year. Now that goal is like twenty thousand. Okay, me and you. Do you care if they know your age? No. Me and you are going to be thirty years old next year. Okay. We're both twenty nine years old. Yeah. Do you ever think about how we lived in our twenties? How I don't know about you, but I want to body my thirties. Like I want my thirties to be like. Yeah. I learned so much from my I mean, 20s. I've already, I've already told people that I've been in financial issues, and that's mainly because of stupid decisions I made in my early 20s. Talk about it. So my late 20s <laughs> have been about correcting those issues. Yes. And now I finally got to the point where I And now we I both am, have a understanding about everything. Yeah, like right now I'm at a point right now where everything is a clean slate again. Everything is done. I don't have anything to worry about. All Listen, I got to do now is collect money. We are going to body it. our 30s. Just uh, just know that for any teenagers out there, you're going to make stupid decisions oh, fuck, fuck because teenagers. teenagers think that they know everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck a I'm just saying that through experience. Think the rest of your fucking life. No, no, let me let me let me let me speak on it. Yeah. I'm just saying it through experience. As a teenager, you're going to assume you know everything. People are going to tell you don't do stuff because it's going to lead to something, and you're like, oh, well, I know what to do, so I'm just going to do the right thing because everybody else does the wrong thing. I'm gonna go in this position, and I know what I'm gonna do to do better than other people you're not you're gonna fuck up <laughs> and then you're gonna yeah. be looking back on it like damn i should have done this and then you're gonna be speaking to the teenagers at, of your time going oh well you do this because i did this and it fucked up and them teenagers are gonna think the same exact shit Listen. oh well, i'm not gonna make the stupid decision you made and Listen. then they're gonna fuck up too i will say this there fucking are, up is part of life there are a lot of <laughs> teenagers that have a basic idea of what life is going to be. And I'm talking to the teenagers that were like me. The teenagers that left their mom's house. Right at 18. Got an apartment. Got a job. Did, experienced real life shit. Early. I'm talking to you guys. Right? Because even you guys. Because you've made a grown up step. Like me. You think that you know more than what you actually know. When in reality... You're just the you're 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 the fucking same as the teenagers that stayed with their parents and are in school. Yeah. All I'm saying it's, is you, you have the same type of the same type of mindset. You yeah. just decided to jump out faster. All I'm saying is like we're we're not trying to preach to you or judge you or anything because it may sound like that, but I mean honestly we're just telling you guys it's okay to fuck up. Just it make sure you learn. Or you get the fucking lottery. Make sure you learn from your mistakes. Because like I said, you will make mistakes, period. Like I know a lot of people think that they can do better because they feel like they're one step above the person before them. But you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. Bottom Listen, line. I think I'm better than so many fucking people. When I was a teenager, I didn't feel the way I feel now. I don't believe that for a second, but, um, <laughs> no, when I was a teenager, I did not think, no, hell no. When I was a teenager, right. I thought, I didn't think that I was, I thought that, what did, what did I really think? You know, it doesn't even fucking matter how I thought. Cause I was stupid when I was a teenager. It's actually embarrassing to talk about how I thought when I was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, even it was embarrassing. My life didn't change dr drastically until three four years ago yeah I, I would say 25 was when i was like mm. yeah that's the exact same life. thing for me the exact same then thing i for was me. 26 i was like when life I was 20 when i was 25 when that's was exactly when yeah i just i like made a change in my life i've already told you guys i was a late bloomer yeah i didn't lose my virginity until are. i was 25 and I've told people this, so you don't got to worry about why the hell you're oh, telling okay. people this. Okay, all right. I was about yeah. to say, like, You don't got to worry about why are you telling people. I've told people this. So, first of all, I feel like, again, if you think that, oh, well, I'm a late bloomer. Good job, I man. I haven't had, I haven't been with a woman, and I'm 18 years old. What am I going to do? Trust me. He a lot of his, people. He didn't get his balls soaked, do, in, a lot soaked of in female bro, juices until okay. he was you do 25 not, do, You do not need to get old. into fucking details. Deep. Like, did I? A lot of people mm, are late bloomers. He was... Like I said, Tyrone Magnus, and I don't like throwing his business out there, but he's, he said this before multiple times. He didn't lose his virginity until he was like 22. I was younger than you, though. I know, but... What? 
I'm just saying. Oh, okay. yeah, You okay. don't have to <laughs> be, like, I, a lot of people assume, like, oh, well, I well, have to do this by a certain age or else. Oh, I have a question. What the fuck do you want? I didn't lose my virginity until I was... Okay, so that didn't count. That didn't count. <laughs> Ooh, that that damn sure didn't count. Uh, I might count that though. I might count that one. I was like sixteen. Okay, you added nothing to my conversation. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Like I was. My point was to say it's okay like if you're late because everybody develops at their own pace, and you gonna come in. Yeah, well, I did it faster than you though. Oh no no! First off, me listen. Me having sex faster doesn't mean anything. Like, it doesn't mean anything. My quality didn't happen until I got older anyway. The quality. It was just quantity when I was a kid. Well, I can give you guys a reason for It wasn't for quality until I, I got can, older. I can give you a reason for I was a late bloomer. And it was because I had a stupid ideology put into me. When I was younger, it was about the whole Christian thing. Oh, you can't really have sex until you're married. Once I hit about, oh. once I hit about 16... That's when I changed my ideology, when I started to become more looser with religion. And then it became like, okay, well, I'm only going to have sex when I'm, like, prepared to take care of a kid. Like, I'm not going to have sex unless I am financially and emotionally, like, stable enough to have a... Like, if something happens, like, if she gets pregnant, I want to be in a position where I don't have to worry about, okay, well, I'm going to... We're going to have to get an abortion or some shit like that. Like, I want to be able to take care of a kid. Shit. That's what I thought at the time. Like, but then it wasn't until I was like much older, like twenty three, when I realized just how effective birth control is. <laughs> and because at the time I was thinking like, because I was brainwashed into thinking, okay, well anything could happen. You never know. Condoms break. You uh, uh, something could happen, and the girl get pregnant. I didn't realize that. Birth control is like a ninety nine point nine 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 percent chance it's, <laughs> that it, nothing as bad is going to happen. You're so. an amazing person <laughs> just by the <laughs> fact that you care about those fucking statistics. Like, like I don't think people give you don't get enough credit for being a human being who me, thinks that those statistics mean something. Do you know how many guys do not give a a motherfuck about <laughs> bro? You say a motherfucker. Listen, if they see a chick that they want to smash, bro, they're going to put a condom on and they're going to smash. That comes first. Yeah. <laughs> that that thought comes first. They don't play the fucking percentage game. The condom yeah. could break. The birth control. Yeah. Bro, they that, see it. With they me, wanna, that works with, it. For me, that works with everything. <laughs> they don't everything. play the numbers game. You know, you know the reason? And it is funny. You'll probably laugh at this. But you know the reason why I like wasn't one of those type of dudes to get peer pressured into like joining gangs or doing harmful shit? Yeah. Because I think too far into, like, other irrelevant shit. Like, I can't be somebody that's going to, like, go around beef with this person and try to shoot somebody. Because I think, like, damn, when I was five years old, and they were, like, when they were five, they probably like Pokemon just like me. <laughs> and they were probably into the same shit I was into. Hell, we could have probably been friends if we met each other uh, before this whole gang shit. I can't fucking shoot this person. He might he might be in a Final Fantasy like me. <laughs> Who knows? He might he might have a damn niece at home that he plays with when he goes home, and then I shoot him, and I took him away from all that shit. Oh shit! I think about like all that shit just this going through my probably, head. This nigga probably works third shift, <laughs> and he won't be able to go to work. And <laughs> he might have had plans to go to the zoo later on this month, and now all of a sudden I done fucked that up, and everybody, all of his family members, like depressed and shit, all because of. Because he stepped on my shoes in the store. Like, <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this is why Da Vinci was not a gang member. <laughs> That's why yeah. he didn't join a gang. Because he thinks and he cares about yeah. you. I, I think way shit. too much in the shit. That's one thing. Yeah. It's so crazy. So the, the, when it comes to me and my thoughts, my thoughts were always like fantasy. Like like the the the, the smart the smartness the genius inside of me <laughs> I used it okay, wrong Trump. <laughs> no no the genius inside of me I used it wrong for so long like I would use my genius for shit for that evil. wasn't real no just for <laughs> just for shit that wasn't real just like unrealistic things like coming up with like stories and that's not using well, I mean, my imagination I mean it's unrealistic but it's not yeah. something that you had to like run away from hell you can be an author 
the uh, storyteller or uh, the hell story a uh, director story director is that what the fuck people who that make story for video games are Art story or, directors illustrator just bro just I don't know I don't but yeah so only when I got older I started to realize uh, what, we're gonna have to oh, what my strengths before were. we before we continue we will have to stop the camera and then start it up again now yeah it's the twenty five mark. Oh, okay, so I'm going to take a shot. All right, so we're about to go ahead and take a pause. You guys won't notice the pause, but we're about to take a pause and then start right back up. All right. All right, we're back from our little break. Like I said, you guys wouldn't notice it. It was um, just something on our end. And what were you about to talk about? Because I, I think we were talking about, um, well, we were talking about teenagers fucking up. And then we were talking about late bloomers. And I was about to get into YouTube. Anybody that wants to get into YouTube, I was about to tell you guys a story about... Um, because uh, we were talking about something about um, wasting our the first like twenty years or not first twenty but the first of our twenties <laughs> yeah and then the end of yeah. our twenties we were correcting everything yeah definitely like from us moving out well I moved out getting a job being on my own evicted um, cars repossessed. Um, got married, had kids, car repossessed. <laughs> All this before I was 25 years old, by the way. <laughs> All of this before I was 25. So when I was 25, that's like when I changed my life, like all together. Like, yeah, when I was 25. When I was 25, that's when... I started to say, you know what, my life is going to go the way I want it to go. And that's when I started to get closer and closer and closer. And I tell everybody, when I was 27, I feel like, yo, that's when that's when I was enlightened, you know? About what? Just in life in general. Like, I thought I really started to understand life, this life game. Like, you know, how to work. What works, what doesn't work, what you have to do to be successful. Yep. So let that be a heads up to anybody that's early in age. I'll say twenty. <laughs> like when you're eighteen and stuff, and you want to try to move out and do everything, just know you still have a lot of stuff that you're going to learn about life. Um, a lot of stuff that aren't that aren't taught in school books or things like that. It's just stuff you learn Definitely through experience. Not. Definitely not. It's stuff you learn through experience. Over time, you start to pick stuff up, and you be like, oh, okay, well, I know next time not to do this, or I wish I could have started over because now I know not to do this. And um, yeah, usually it's things that you pass down to your kids. Like I said, if your kids actually want to listen and pick it up, that depends because, like I said, teenagers usually oh. like, like to think that they got more stuff figured out. But they don't have shit figured out. Yeah. And... Um, I was about to tell you guys, like, about YouTube. Um, I should have started my YouTube channel years ago. Like, I wanted to get into YouTube for a very long time. And at first, I was going to do just a fitness vlog. And I told you guys, um, like, me and him, we did a podcast, or not a podcast, a YouTube channel about a year and a half before I started my YouTube channel. Or at least before I started uploading videos on my YouTube channel. I had my YouTube channel since like 2010. So I was always there lurking on YouTube, watching stuff and liking videos and stuff. But I was never uploading he stuff. He was always there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I started uploading videos like a year or so after me and uh, King Rutherford started our DT Productions YouTube yeah. channel. And like... I had this idea that I wasn't going to do YouTube until everything was right. I had to have a good camera, had to have a great microphone. I had to have, um, like, enough space where I would be able to do whatever I want and things like that. And the truth is, you don't need that. All you need is, well, really, when we first started off, all we had was a cell phone. We didn't even have a microphone. We just had a, our cell phone. We bought a little tripod that had a little attachment on it. I can probably find the attachment. Um... Let me see. I'm going to see if I can hear this. It got dust on it. It's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this attachment right here. It just holds on to your phone. And it just holds it like this so you can have your phone horizontally. It just holds on to it and you record yourself while you're while we're doing our videos. Our first videos on YouTube were done with just my... Um, I think I had an iPhone at the time. Yeah. We were just doing it with the iPhone. That's it. 
One day when we just have an audio podcast, like on Spotify or something, you won't be able to show them that. Well, it doesn't matter. They <laughs> the people that got it early. Okay, then it's a it's a, a Renaissance Crew exclusive. Everybody that's an earlier supporter of oh, ours, man. they got a chance to see the little tripod attachment that I just showed that um, that connects or that grabs onto your phone and holds it while you record yourself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But uh, okay, so also one thing that I wanted to do. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, I was about to say. Um, if you have anything you want to do in life, just do it. Like don't don't sit here and ask yourself, "All right, well, I'm waiting for everything to be together. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for that." Ask yourself, "Is there going to be anything different between the you right now that isn't doing it and the you at the beginning of the next year or?" You know, in a couple yeah. of weeks or a couple of years down the road, like wherever your goal, like whatever you plan on holding it off to, ask yourself, is there really going to be anything different at that time? Like, is it something that you can't do right now? Or even if you can't fully do it, is there anything that you can do, like as far as steps to getting to doing it right now? Like, yeah. just, just do it. That's the best thing. I, just do it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's another sponsor. <laughs> it's another fucking sponsor. Sorry, I but up. listen, I want to say he he has no idea about this, but Uh-oh. comic book character of the day. What? It's Spider Man. Segway, I guess. I'm just letting you guys know. Yeah, you went and got a new Spider Man t shirt. You won't see it if we're on Spotify, by the way. He got a new Spider Man t shirt. <laughs> and say shit to me, even though I he knows I need. It's not tees. just a Spider Man shirt. Where's the Spider Man from? The Iron logo Man from? It's the Iron Man suit. Infinity War. It's the Infinity War Spider Man. That's what the shirt is called, actually. The Infinity War Spider Man. I thought he wore that in Homecoming too. No, he got it at the end, the very end of the movie. Okay, well, it came from Homecoming, man, didn't it? No. No, no, no. If he got it at the end of no, the movie. No, no, no. I don't think that he got it even at the end. I think he did. Um, didn't uh, Tony Stark give it to him before the press conference thing? I don't think so. I could have sworn he got that Because this the is his robot. his robot. It's the Iron Man Spider-Man suit. Yeah. Or the he Iron Spider, space, I think it's called. The Iron Spider, yeah. Well, anyways. Spider-Man is the superhero of the day. Why? Because he's dope. I don't know. Shots. He's not doper than Superman. Shots the fuck out of here Parker. with that Spider-Man stuff. Okay, so who's your superhero of the day? My superhero of the day is, let's see, uh, Aquaman, because he needs it. <laughs> Aquaman, after that fucking movie comes out, he's not going to need it. Yeah, he is. That movie is going to be okay, but it's not going to be... It's going to be better then it's going to be a Batman vs Superman. No, it's well it's going to be a decent DC movie, I think. That's it. A decent DC movie. It's not going to be Wonder Woman good. We don't know that. I I'm willing to bet money. Don't on. do that. I've done it before. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've done it before. I'm Don't do that. Hear me right now. I'm giving you guys a heads up. Aquaman is going to be uh I will say it'll be about a Six and a half or seven out of ten. I guarantee it. Will it be better than Batman versus Superman? It depends. Batman versus Superman was bad, but it had its moments because Batman and Superman were in it. And, and Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman. yeah. <laughs> it had its moments because even though the movie was bad, it's like, yeah, but I mean, it still has Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and they're still doing some cool looking stuff, so... Uh, <laughs> what what about Justice League? Will Aquaman. Be Justice I mean, League? Aquaman is like Aquaman doesn't have that factor to him. Um, will it be better than Justice League? Uh, Isn't it crazy that you can compare it to Justice League? Well, I mean, the fact that you can compare it to Justice League means that it could be better than Justice League. Yeah, <laughs> Justice League that, is a normal fucking movie. I think possibly mm-hmm. because Aquaman will have a plot. Justice League. I mean. Who the fuck cares about Steppenwolf? Like, okay, um, what exactly was the full-on plot of Justice League? They wanted to bring Superman back from the dead yeah. because of the threat from Steppenwolf. 
Yeah, Steppenwolf. And I thought it was Steppenwolf. Yeah, Ste- Steppenwolf. I thought it was Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. It's like S T E P. The P isn't silent? It's like two P's. Like S T E P P E N Wolf or something like that. But I thought one of the P the P was silent. Even if it was Stephen Wolf. Even if it was, it's not Finn. There's no H in there. A silent P. What well, no no no. Whoa, the full shit. sound would be P H. Yeah. Steppenwolf. Yeah, Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Stepping woof. It's like, okay, so your superhero is Aquaman. Yeah, because I'm throwing a bone to the guy. He can talk to fish. Yeah. It's like, nah, Aquaman's definitely pretty dope, though. But Peter Parker, who would win? Wasn't there a new, another Superman movie? Or not Superman, another superhero movie coming out this year? Am I tripping? Isn't there a, Superman, a superhero movie coming out this year? No, they're, they're done. Just Aquaman. Hmm. Every, every other one comes out next year. I must be tripping. I could have sworn there was another. They canceled our, uh, Luke Cage. For real? Netflix canceled Luke Cage. And Iron Fist, but who gives a fuck? They canceled Luke Cage. So there's After no two more, seasons. There's no more Luke Cage? Uh, I guess for now, no. There's no season three for Luke Cage in the works. Which is shitty because, you know who I blame? Who? Thanos. He snapped his fingers and killed half the universe. (laughs) And now, all of a sudden, half the damn Netflix series are gone. You say it's a coincidence or not a coincidence, I say bullshit. You know what? Thanos did snap his fingers, yo, and he's getting rid of the fucking TV shows. Yeah. Did Luke Cage die in the snap? Mm, uh, Maybe. He could have. I mean, he got canceled, so maybe he died off screen. Have you seen any of the fucking Netflix hero movies yet? Well, what do you mean? We Last time we checked, in the previous episode of DT Productions, you said that you were going to be watching uh, Luke Cage Season 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely on Episode 7. Definitely. 100% on Episode 7. So you can talk to me about everything up until Episode 7. Okay, so what happened? The last episode I saw... The the black dude put those heads on the stick when she opened oh, up the, the, the thing. Jamaican guy. Yeah, the Jamaican dude. She had her opening thing, open the door, and all those people's heads were inside the yeah. thing for the opening. Yep. You know what I like about the Luke Cage season uh, two? The bad guys were, they made sense. They had things that, like, they had things that. What am I trying to say? They had things that didn't make them just generic as bad guys that didn't have any type of like logical motivations. Like they weren't that stereotypical I want to rule the world because I want power bad guys. Like the the Jamaican guy actually had reason for his actions and it wasn't and to him it was like it it made sense for him. Yeah, it definitely made sense. Like I said, you can't go into too many details because I don't know how it's going to end. It's a good ass show. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, and I and I can tell. As a matter of fact, I'm going to finish it tonight because I'm getting my hair done. But um, I'm going to figure it. I'm going to figure some stuff out. I kind of think I know what's going to happen. Don't say anything, but I kind of have a feeling that. No spoilers um, in the comment section. Black Dahlia. Spoilers will get blocked. Black. Oh, no. You can spoil it after. How about this? You can spoil it when this shit's posted because no. I would have already saw it. They don't know that. It could be It could be posted tonight. I'm not going to watch this video in a minute. Okay. But still. I'm going to make sure I go home and finish the season tonight. <laughs> I only, how many episodes? Is it 10? I don't know. I'm, or 12? I forgot. I forgot. Because I'm on episode 7. I can knock out 4. But anyways, though. Um, what, what, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah. I think that her daughter might have some type of bigger role or her daughter's going to die. I do well, not know. Well, in the know comics, that. her daughter has a bigger role. Okay. All right. So, I do not know because, you know, she, she makes that stuff that makes old dude stronger. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But, um... I do kind of like the fact that 
But sometimes, though, I feel like stuff is inconsistent. Like, I know they can't make Luke unstoppable, but I just feel that it's crazy that he was able to punch Luke and just whoop his ass like that. Like. I mean, he had the same genetic power that, or he developed the same genetic power that Luke did. I don't know, but like, it's supposed to like be worse every time he uses that stuff. Yeah, it has a ba- it has a bad effect on his body over time. Yeah, and um, I-, I don't know, I don't know, but um, that's sad that they're stopping the the series though. That means that they have to make a defender season two. I mean, they, they probably planned on that already. Yeah, making another defender. But I, it just kills me because like the show was good. And I don't know. Maybe they need time to like come up with a good plot because they were. And right now, the only things that could really uh, hurt Luke, we already kind of like know. We've already seen like you have a weapon that can penetrate him, that couldn't at first, which was the Judas bullet or whatever. And yeah. then when that got taken out, then okay, well, the only thing that can really stop him is a person like him. And now that's a thing. And so what are they going to do next season? A person that can stop him with a damn weapon that can stop him? <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Luke Cage is going to be in Jessica Jones season three. I don't care. Because that's his wife. I don't care. He marries Jessica. I don't care. I knew that him and Claire was going to break I up. don't care. But I'm just saying. I don't care. Jessica's last name is Cage. I don't care I'm saying. I don't give a fuck about Jessica Jones I'm sorry I don't that's crazy that you don't care about Jessica Jones yeah I don't she's a pretty dope she character. pisses me off she's she, a pretty dope character she's like fucking Vegeta with her damn anti fucking social issues and there's shit there's nothing wrong with Vegeta but it is he acts that way and he has no reason to act that way so we're gonna do we did superhero of the of the day, I guess. Matter of fact, it has to be superhero of the week. For of now course, on. because we're only doing this like maybe once a week. Yeah, you can't do superhero of the way. day if we're only doing this once a week. Yeah, so superhero of the week, and then I also want to do song of the day. Why? Mm-hmm. I don't know. My song of the day is Goku by Jaden Smith. Oh my god. Yep, that I've been listening to that song. Jaden Smith is underrated. Just a heads up. This is song of the day for King Rutherford because I refuse to have week. anything on my channel endorse goddamn Jaden Smith. Goku. Don't care. I like that song. Don't care. It's pretty dope. Don't care. That what is about your you? Pers- that is your personal what opinion. What new song did you hear this week? A song that I heard this week that I really liked was fucking uh, Guitar Gently Weeps by the Beatles. Okay. I did a video on it with Prince where he absolutely killed the goddamn guitar solo and that is my song of the week. Go listen to that song and go listen to Jaden Smith's Goku. I was about to say then go kill yourself but um, you know YouTube and the internet acts funny when you say stuff like that. Um, (laughs) Just know that yeah yeah. (laughs) If you're a fan, well, first of all, if you're a fan of the Beatles and a fan of Jaden Smith, you're an anomaly. You're rare, and you need to be studied by science. But if if you're a fan of just Jaden Smith and don't give a fuck about any of the Beatles songs, I don't know if I want you as a subscriber. I'm just telling the truth. I don't know if I want you as a subscriber. That shit's crazy, bro. That's just crazy. The crazy thing about it is Jaden Smith is like a beast, though. No, he's not. Like, he definitely is. Like, like one. Jade Smith is one of those. He's definitely talented. Like, I just don't understand. Jade like, Smith is one of those quote unquote deep rappers that aren't really deep and think they're deep. I disagree. No, he definitely has this thing about him that makes himself think that he is knowledgeable about some shit that he has no fucking idea about. The type of person that would actually believe in flat Earth. Like, as if it's... I think he's... Around. Well, first off, I'm only judging him by his music. Well, I don't care. When I'm, I play his songs, 
I feel good. I don't care. And I like what I'm listening to. I can't do that because when I think of stuff, I think about the person themselves. You mean to tell me that if the... No, you do not. Yeah, I do. You do not think about the person themselves. Yeah, I do. Because you went and listened to a lot of people because... So, you listen to the Beatles, right? Yeah. You think about them as people? Usually, yeah. Do you think that you could relate to them? Do you think that you could relate to the Beatles? I don't know. All I don't know is they. I would not have an issue with having a conversation with them. Jaden Smith is somebody I feel like I would not be able to spend too much time in the same room with. Why? Because, like I said, we cannot have a normal discussion about anything. All, I, all it will come down to is me come saying some shit and then him coming back with some stupid, non-deep shit. Like, oh, well, you know, the lizard people theories actually has a lot of valid arguments for it. And I'm like, bro, you know what? Get the bro. fuck out of my house bro. and go. Bro, I'm pretty sure Jane Smith doesn't talk like that, though. Like, I'm pretty sure if you talk to him, he would talk just normal. If okay, we, he would say if stupid we were shit ever to, normally. If we were ever to interview Jane Smith, I bet it would be a normal conversation. First of all, the motherfucker would come in the room wearing a dress, and then he would start talking all kinds of weird shit. I know it. I don't think so. Yeah, he would. I'd have no problem talking to Will Smith. His dad I would have a conversation with because he's more down to earth. You don't think Jane... So you think Jane Smith isn't down to earth? Not in the same He doesn't sense. come across as a asshole in any... He doesn't have to come down as an asshole. I'm talking about he comes down as a dumbass. No, no, yes. I'm not gonna. No, yes, no. Jaden Smith isn't a dumbass. The dude called himself Martin Luther King. He's a dumbass. The dude says that he, he has it. evidence for the Illuminati and the goddamn nine eleven truther shit. He might have evidence. No, he doesn't. He's a fucking idiot, or he's just lying just to sound deep. Like I said, I have no. Listen, if he says he has evidence... Don't get me wrong. If you have arguments for 9-11 truth or shit, I'm not going to immediately dismiss it as like some other shit like Flat Earth and stuff like that, but I still think that most of it is bullshit. Most so you think it. 9-11 was just random? No, I think that what happened was they knew ahead of time that Osama bin Laden was going to do something with planes and they used it as an excuse. That's it. I don't think that they fired missiles into the damn buildings or anything like that. I think that they just saw it as an opportunity to do some shit. Like, oh, well, this is going to happen? Well, we can just do this and then blame it on something else. We can let it happen and then blame it on something else. That's it. There was a movie about this. Yeah, there's a lot of movies about a lot of conspiracy theories, and most of them are based on stupid-ass logic. Like, I'm trying to figure out which movie... Was based off of a terrorist act, and America did it to themselves, but they were going to blame it on. A lot of people will try to point to Benghazi as some stupid ass thing. First, no, there was a movie though. Like I hate when people try, try to pretend like Benghazi was some secret attempt at some shit by the Long the White Kiss House. Goodnight. I don't know what that is. The Long Kiss Goodnight. I don't know what that is. It's a movie. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's a movie. Yes, it's a movie. Is it related to this conversation? Yeah, that's um. It was about um. Crap, I can't remember anything. But that's that's what the movie was about, though. Let me um. Okay, well, why are you talk googling? about something while I'm looking at this? All right, while you're googling that, um, let's see. Well, there was another story about a white person calling the cops on a poli- uh, black person for. Some unknown thing. Really? Yeah. There was a video I seen on um, World Star. It was a, uh, it was an older white lady, and she had called the police on this Hispanic woman, who was in the car, with her baby, and she called the police because she said that the baby like it was in discomfort, and I guess she assumed that the baby was in the car by herself, and didn't realize the mom was in the car with it. But the problem was, instead of admitting, like, oh, I'm sorry, I fucked up, and I shouldn't have done it, my bad, I'm not going to call the police or anything, she tried to double down and be like, oh, well, the baby looked like it was in distress, so I'm calling the police. And then I didn't like the way you you talked to me afterwards, after I made the mistake, so I'm going to still well, call the police. And it's like, why the fuck are you calling the police? She said there's not a problem, the baby's okay, yeah. that should be the end of the issue. Why the fuck are you still calling the police? Definitely. 
I don't get what this. I, I've said this before. I don't get what this issue with calling the police is. Like, what happened to the days when people just talk to each other? Like, if you got a problem with me, just fucking tell me. Don't sit here and run off to the uh, corner and call the cops. I'll say nowadays it is 2018. I don't care. You got to call the police nowadays. No, you don't. Shit happens all the time. Please. Shit escalates so fast nowadays. Please. I mean, don't get me wrong. For a civilian <laughs> nowadays, shit's, shit can get wild. I don't believe that for a second. She can get wild. You know what we have to react to? Public. Oh, my God, yo. I've been watching public freak out. Not public freak out, but pub like customers versus like oh, workers. Uh, I think I've seen. I haven't yo, seen clips of it, but bro, I've seen YouTubers react. We to have it. to react to that shit. Me and Nika, me and my wife were watching Dying. That shit is so fucking funny. That shit is so funny. And there's like 400 of these videos. There's like 400 compilations. Mm -hmm. We got to react to at least one. The, the shits are funny, bro. All right. I'll be willing to check it out. Like for, and I work in customer service, by the way. I work, I work, I work for a corporate for a office. Period of time. Yeah, I work at a corporate office and we, you know. I have a channel, King Rutherford. Just subscribe to my channel. If you guys will watch, I'll post. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> it's not how it works. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. But I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe to watch. my channel and then I'll think about <laughs> If you watch our post. It's like, nah. So, yeah. You want to um, end it now? Um, yeah, we can. The camera's starting to hit its ending mark, so... We might as well. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Anyway, we didn't really have too many topics to talk about today. We didn't. <laughs> I wanted to get into some more controversial mm -hmm. shit, but um, we don't really have enough time for it. Next week, we will have a list. Yeah, we'll have a, more of a topic. This is kind of like a pilot episode, so we were just testing some shit. This is a rebrand, and we're eventually going to have a channel dedicated to only the podcast. Maybe. Depends. It depends on how you guys react to this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and get all invested. On some shit that might not be popular. <laughs> Even though that's how every great thing started. Well, Somebody investing in something that might not be popular. It's a, they but usually they have an idea. Yeah, they usually have an idea and stuff like that. They were just passionate about it. Yeah. Passionate anyway, that's it. been this podcast. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share, and be sure to comment down below what you think about it. If you oh, have yeah. any type of comments that you have yeah. about any topics we talked about, be sure to leave them down in the comment section. I like getting real big comment sections. <laughs> he likes he likes real big comment sections. Bro, you're not about to throw real some double in, innuendos in this bitch. Um, I'm about to end it now. Real so, big um, comment sections. That's been this video. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you guys the deuces. And hopefully we'll see you next week. The Cleveland Browns are in overtime right now. <laughs> they could they could